This is why you shouldn't wait uh, 10 years, let the vehicle sit out in the field and various places. After you've disassembled most of it, or good portions of it, and then 10 years later you want to put it back together and get it running. Because you end up with questions like, where does this vacuum line go? Or, what the heck does this plug go to? How do I route these these injector fuel injector wires? And how in the heck this air bypass system back up underneath here? So it plugs into it plugs into that hose there with this right here. But does it go under this hose or over that hose? And This piece of vacuum hose here, you see it's broken off. What is it attached to? Oh boy, so much fun. All sorts of, I don't, I don't know, it's just like, it's like ranching. <sighs> yeah, so you take a car apart, put it back together like next day, the next week, something like that. Anyway. Uh, I think I'm going to fight with it a bit more. I'm just going to have to guess on... Because you can see where this used to be mounted. Apparently... Apparently... Give me some light. Give me some light. So apparently... This... This is an uh, air bypass valve. And what it does is it allows air... Before it goes, well, after the filter, but before it gets to the throttle body, to bypass the throttle body and come in the back of the intake manifold. Um, not exactly sure what it's supposed to do, uh, numbers wise. Like, the, uh, if it's, I imagine it's a, uh, once it's warm thing, you have to look at the. <clears throat> German engineering on that and see see what they're thinking. But you can see where those mounting, those rubber mounty thingies right down there are broken off. So it used to sit down there. So this other hose, this hose, which is also some sort of air, oh it comes from it comes from that tank down in there. I wonder what the heck that is. Anyway, you take some apart, put it back together within a week before you completely forget where the heck everything goes.